lose uh, Ethiopia's Tamirata Tola and win this year's championship. But I want us to get into the conversation that we are having this afternoon. It's all about the Kulundeng fie football fiesta. It's all happening here in Nairobi at Abza Grounds. And I want us to speak to the founder of Kulundeng Football Fiesta, Bob, who is here with me. Uh, after that, I'll be speaking to other, you know, uh, participants from this uh, uh, football fiesta and, of course, also former legends, uh, former Harambe Stars uh, internationals. Remember, we are almost getting to the elections, which will be held on uh, December 7th. So we'll be speaking to them on what uh, we should expect from the people that are vying from that. But let's not get into that at the moment. Let's talk about the Kulundeng football fiesta. And joining me at the moment is uh, Bob. Good afternoon, Bob. Good afternoon to you, Robbie. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am very fine. Yes, uh, Kulundeng football fiesta. This is something that we'll be coming to and... Uh, year in year out it's becoming bigger and bigger yeah definitely it's becoming bigger and better and uh, it's just a part of growth and the vision that we had as a, as a kulundeng uh, uh, members uh, that uh, we, we had a strategic plan and uh, there's where somewhere where we want to see this grow in uh, five to six seven years same mm -hmm. here Yes, uh, I, I want to ask you something that we've seen on social media this week. Uh, people have been asking, why, why, why is it that, you know, most people are coming to such tournaments and not going to the, you know, the usual league, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the usual leagues that we have? Mm -hmm. uh, you were here last, last edition. Uh, we were here. I think we were at Parklands. Yes, and uh, you asked me that question. And uh, I told you that uh, it's important that, uh, for, for example, for us as, as, as Kulundi or as fans, we provide checks and balances for uh, the administration of, uh, of football. Mm -hmm. So I remember I told you that the football administrators, the current office bearers, they need to consult with us, consult widely and get to, to know what are we doing different from, from, from them that is making uh, all these people and all fans come here uh, yes. to be with us. So I'd say we're just packaging this thing better. We're packaging it in a way that uh, fans are feel comfortable, they feel secure, they feel they can bring their families. We are adding uh, some value into football, not just uh, what, what happens in uh, our mainstream football, whereby people go to study, watch football and, uh, and go back home. No, uh, we are doing it differently. We are packaging it. We have kids' corner. We have... Uh, uh, where people can interact and, 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 and just uh, have, have a good time as, as, as a family. So uh, that's missing on the other sector. So that's, that's what is now making people to, to want to identify with such, uh, with such uh, outings. <laughs> yes, uh, over, 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 over the past week, people have been saying that, you know, uh, you have uh, professionals, people that are playing in uh, the pro leagues, mm -hmm. come here and uh, it's something some, like they even play better when they're playing here at uh, the Kulundeng Festival and other, other you know, Sunday league matches mm -hmm. as compared to what they see in the league? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, first, as, as a football stakeholder, uh, I would say it's wrong uh, for a professional player to, uh, to engage in such. Uh, it's not right. Uh, they need to respect and uh, abide by their contracts. Uh, so, so, such, so those are the things that we are dealing with uh, to ensure that uh, we don't cross the line. But... Uh, uh, in my own opinion, I think it's also a challenge to, again, uh, those who are managing uh, the, the mainstream leagues, uh, the top tier leagues, uh, that uh, they need to package it well. They need to, to manage the, uh, the leagues well so that it, it, it's valuable. Uh, it, it, it makes sense to the players themselves because if you find a player opting to, if, if you see a player opting to, to identify with such and is, is a professional player, it tells you that there's a, there's a problem, there's a problem somewhere. And uh, we should not be, be focusing on the symptoms, we, we should be focusing on the real cause of, uh, for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, uh, of course, we had spoken last year, mm -hmm. this year, earlier on in the year, we spoke. But, um, I mean, uh, Kulundeng is growing in leaps and bounds. Yeah. You know, what, 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 what goes into that? Uh, I think it's just uh, the vision first, the vision that we have as a, as a, as a team, as members, as a group. Uh, the commitment, uh, we are so committed to ensure that uh, we achieve our mission and vision. So there's that commitment and then uh, there's the sacrifices that we make. Because if you can look around here, uh, we have very few partners who are coming on board. 
but the rest uh, we members are the ones who are just contributing and uh, and uh, making it uh, work and making it better each and every year year in year out so i'd say the vision uh, the sacrifice and the commitment that we are having as a, as, a, as a team and as a family yeah when are you taking this to kisumu or homa bay uh, again it's part of our vision uh, remember i told you that uh, uh, we are planning to make it uh, regional Mm -hmm. after which we are planning to go uh, East Africa way. So we are looking at, uh, for the past four editions, we've been uh, Nairobi based. Uh, we wanted first and foremost uh, to ensure that, uh, that uh, it gets uh, the blessings of, uh, of our fans and uh, football stakeholders within Nairobi so that now we can spread it to other parts of the country. So God willing, next edition, uh, we'll be going regional. We'll, we'll, it, it's normally a one month uh, long uh, tournament, mm. but I think when we want to go uh, regional to every region in the country, we'll have to expand it and maybe do it on uh, uh, two or three months. So uh, we can begin by August, September, then the finals uh, we schedule for October or, or, or early November. So it's part of our plan, it's part of our vision. We, we're going regional, and I can assure you that uh, you'll find us in Kisumu, you'll find us in Mombasa, you'll find us in Nakuru, mm -hmm. you'll find us in Kakamega, but the finals will be in Nairobi. <laughs> Last year, a time like this, when I was interviewing you, yeah. you had the CS for Sports, uh, that is uh, the former CS for Sports, yeah. that is uh, Ababu Namwamba. What happened this year? Uh, all right, uh, we normally try to, to invite our yeah. chief guest. Uh, we had uh, Ababu Namwamba. Mwamba, we also had the Football uh, Federation uh, uh, leadership, and uh, last year we also had uh, Hussein Mohammed with us. This year I've uh, invited a number of, uh, of, of guests, but I think they're on their way because uh, the finals is, will be, will be in, uh, in one hour's time. I think they'll be here. I've invited a number of uh, number of uh, member of parliaments. I've also invited football stakeholders, legends. Uh, legends are here, some of them in that corner. They're just waiting for the finals. So the, the, the guests are there. The guests are there. Yes, the legends played earlier on before we got here. Uh, they played against a Mosquito. Mosquito F uh, FC. How did that go? Uh, I think uh, Mosquito won uh, by two, two or three goals to nil. I uh, wasn't around, but uh, I know Mosquito won. Yeah, so it was a very entertaining match. And uh, I think uh, they had an advantage because uh, they are slightly younger compared to our yeah. ex-legends. Yeah. Yes, and uh, before I let you go, Bob, uh, this, uh, as we have said uh, before, uh, you, as we've said in this conversation, you know, Kulundeng has been growing in leaps and bounds. You said uh, next year we're going to see it probably in uh, different uh, areas uh, across the country. But the question is, uh, how do you manage to keep it going you know, uh, in a year you have three events. How do you keep it, uh, how do you manage keep it, uh, to keep it going, you know, every year and having three tournaments in a year, having in mind that, uh, you know, we have lots of tournaments going on? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's uh, the objectives that we have uh, as, as Kulundeng uh, that is driving us to achieve our vision. And uh, you know very well, one of our objectives is to strengthen and preserve our social capital as uh, football stakeholders. And we always believe that uh, if we keep uh, having such, we'll always be hard in those uh, corridors uh, that make decisions on football. Uh, our second uh, uh, objective is also to ensure that uh, we demonstrate the economic and social value of sports. Mm -hmm. And uh, through such, you'll see people, uh, we have vendors here, we have everyone here. We're just trying to demonstrate that uh, with football, we can also generate uh, generate income other the other one is uh to create an environment that uh provides uh, uh an environment that uh ensures that uh, there's growth and development for our members and uh growth we're talking about physical growth we are talking about uh social growth we are talking about uh, uh economic growth mm -hmm. and above all we are talking about uh health mm -hmm. health as you know uh, uh the issue of uh, mental health has been a serious issue in kenya mm -hmm. and very few people are talking about it so it has been it has been the driving force uh we want to see our people grow uh quarterly so at the end of the day whenever you call for search or you rally for search you'll find people wanting to identify with you uh importantly we're also trying to provide checks and balances uh on matters football and uh, in uh on matters how football is uh, is run in Kenya, yes. so you find that everyone is every football stakeholder is interested. So once you have such ideas, uh, they'll always want to identify to identify with you and uh, to identify with the cause. So that has really, really, really helped us uh, move and have uh, those number of, of of events or or tournaments in a year, uh, three or four tournaments in a year. Before I let you go, Bob, 
final question. Yeah. This is an uh, uh, election year when you talk about uh, football in the country. Uh, probably, what do you uh, want the person that will take over uh, from Nick Mwendwa to enact in uh, football mm -hmm. going forward? Mm -hmm. We have three main issues. Uh, the first one is governance and leadership. It has been our main undoing. If you look at uh, most of uh, the problems we are facing in Kenya uh, with regards to football, it's as, re as a result of uh, poor leadership or lack of go good governance. So governance is number one. Number two is institutional policy framework. Uh, we are talking about uh, policies that govern football. We have a sports act. We have the FKS constitution. And if, let's say, the constitution is not in line uh, to, to, to the sports act and to the constitution, definitely there will be a problem. So we we need to fix uh, the institutional policy framework, we need to fix governance and leadership, and above all, we need to bring resources uh, to football. We need to commercialize football and uh, uh, ensure that it's, it's, it's an income-generating venture. So those three, uh, good leadership and governance, institutional policy framework, and above all, commercial, commercialization of football. Yeah, so with those, anyone who has uh, or who is advocating for those, I'll definitely support. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bob. Of course, we are looking forward uh, to the final of uh, the Kulundenga uh, football fiesta that will be held uh, at uh, 3 p.m. Now, let me speak to a lady that never misses the Kulundenga football fiesta, and that is uh, Fandesele, a very big fan of uh, football in the country. Also, she supports uh, Police FC, but today she's not here on behalf of Police FC. She's here on behalf of uh, Kulundenga. Of course, uh, this is... Uh, an event that brings uh, fans uh, together. Afande se lo kwaje. Niko poa na ya. Min kofiti. Uh, kwanza uh, swali la kwanza. E tournament imekuwa kipata umarufu. Like every single event, you know, uh, you get more people coming in, more people coming in. What can you say about it? Ah, uh, it's been a tournament that has been attracting many local supporters of our game. Mm -hmm. And also you get every and each and every new tournament, we have new teams coming on board. And uh, I think the teams, they see what we do, they see what we offer, they see this is a tournament that has some cash price, has some goodies, and that's why we always have new teams coming on board. I think it's about the organization, the coordination, and everything we do for this Kulundeng Fiesta. Yes, uh, this past week there was a talk uh, on social media, something that we, should, we, we have to talk about. Uh, it cannot pass. Something that we have to talk about that, you know, uh, pro players are coming to take part in this uh, tournament. What, what are your views on that? Okay, it depends with somebody. When you reach somewhere, you see like, I'm done with active football. I need to change it and, and get myself into doing something. We all, You know, before it was like, they should not play. Mm -hmm. But now if somebody still wants to play, you can't stop him or her. Mm -hmm. If they feel like they want to join this part of the world where fans have their fun, it's okay. Nobody is like limited to anything. I don't see anything bad. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, there is life after soccer. And most of them, of course, they are not playing active soccer. They have they have engaged the, themselves in other things mm -hmm. that keeps them going. So if they find a weekend and come and join us, there's no problem. It's, it's just fine for me. Yes, finally, what are you looking forward uh, to in the final? Okay, in the final, um, I think as a Kulundeng ambassador, mm -hmm. Kulundeng original player, Kulundeng original top fan. Yes. Kulundeng, we are carrying the day. Yep. The semis was the toughest for us. Yes. I think the final is a bit yes. like I can't compare to the team we played against at the semis. It was all stars, K KPL all stars. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, that is a uh, fan sale, of course. Uh, uh, the, she says she's the number one uh, fan of uh, Kulundeng uh, football fiesta. Now, I want to speak to a man of uh, from a team that uh, you know has. Uh, for a very long time, uh, not long time, but for the past week has been making headlines. Uh, that is uh, Mosquito FC. Kaka Vipi. Fresh sana. Eh, hey, Mosquito FC. Mekwa mkimeka headlines hii wiki. Watu wanauliza hii Mosquito, Mosquito, uh, Mosquito FC ni wapi na imetoka wapi? Uh, tuko based mostly tuko na wase kutoka mta from Kibera, wengine kawangwari, but again Eastlands, friends from all over yeah. <laughs> so tumekuwa tuki exist for some time now uh, it, it was long kabla tuanze kucheza easy games za uh, 11 aside mm -hmm. but tumekuwa tuki cheza tough for, from, since 2021 na yu marufu mepata mna ichukuli aje? ni fresh kwa sababu inatusaidia ku kueneza what we have out there mm -hmm. uh, whatever our goals and our missions are 
we at least uh, imefanya tumekuwa kwa headlines na inatusaidia sana kwa zile vitu tuna plan kufanya at least with this now tutakuwa tukinock on doors watu watakuwa at least wanatujua already yeah yes leo uh, mmecheza na former internationals na mmepata mmepata ku, kuwapiga I, i think the results were 3-1 eh yes. mnajisikiaje hey, Atko fit it was expected kwa sababu i think walikuwa na feel ni kama si tukikamini in tutakuwa kama underdogs considering zile vitu zimekuwa ziki happen uh, pia itatusaidia ku deal na wale wase wamejua wamekuwa ki assume that Amos Quito ni team ya watu wako active so when we came in we played sisi wenye tucheze active football so we still showed what we can uh, to cash in the game as as was expected so it was not, it was easy for us but again not easy because we respect our opponents because it was a tough game because ni watu wamecheza for so long na bado idea iko ni i think ni fitness tu hakuna wamekuwa sawa tumewahi kwa sababu i think we were we are still fit we are way younger than them yeah, i think yondo imekuwa upper hand imetupatia upper hand na mnajisikiaje kucheza na former international i mean hadi watu ambao wamekuwa ki represent the country there are people that have been representing the country they are played against uh, you know other countries from they played from players from other countries on a pro level mnajisikiaje kucheza na wao i think ni ni opportunity poor kwa sababu uh, wakicheza i don't think any any of the players on our side wamekuwa kicheza mm-hmm. Our team also had ex players but now we know the age difference we call high sana so i think it was a nice opportunity at least to interact because that are from their team most of them are, are coaches so imekuwa it's it's good to to play with the former internationals at, at least una get kupata reasons why walikuwa hapo before yeah i think it was a nice opportunity for us yeah Sawa sawa asante sana of course uh, that is the captain of uh, Amos Quito FC speaking about uh, you know their win against uh, former Kenyan internationals a match that was played at around uh, quarter past noon and they got a 3-1 win against uh, former Kenyan internationals now remember today it's a big day it's super sunday first it's all about the New York City Marathon that uh, race will be starting in the next uh, 35 minutes or so and aside from that if you are a football fan it's a super sunday when you talk about the english premier league manchester united will be hosting chelsea but before that we'll have spurs take on aston villa very very interesting fixtures that we have when you talk about uh, football so uh, it's just a teaser of what to expect today but i want us to wrap up a score line this afternoon on uh, that remember it's all about the kulundenga football fiesta here at abza grounds in nairobi we've spoken to the founder that is bob and we've spoken to the fans and of course uh, the participants uh, rather the footballers who took part in uh, the match that we had uh, for the day so 